eggs because of the hello everyone i am blackstone and welcome to the first episode of automation craft season 2 it has been more than a year i believe since season 1 ended unfortunately because of backup uh, problems but now we are finally back it's now minecraft 1.9 the update i have been waiting for to kick off this series again and start season 2 and that is exactly what we are going to do right now right this weekend as i said i would be uploading it this weekend and we're still going to all right let's hop in make a new world let's create a new single player world i'm going to create uh, name it automation craft whoops can't even type right so that's already off to a great start but it's also a bit difficult because of the microphone which is directly in front of my keyboard um, so yeah automation craft season 2 that's all good game mode survival uh, the seed we are going to actually call it the date we are today uh, we are the 26th of March uh, 2016 and I hope that's gonna create a nice seed world type uh, maybe we could go for large biomes that would be pretty cool so you have to explore a bit farther to, to find everything that we are going to leave on and yeah we are going to leave this on as well if we ever need it not that i'm going to cheat something in but if it uh, helps for recording like setting the time or something nothing too major so yeah that's all cool um let's create a new world this is exciting stuff right here <laughs> uh it's still the same as it has been many years this layout the cool letters oh that was something different the zero percent there never seen that before oh we spot in a jungle that is pretty nice i like jungles and also you may have immediately noticed the difference in resource pack because we're not using our fancy watercolor and the hotbar thing over here anymore that is because my uh own resource pack hasn't been updated yet and it isn't really compatible with 1.9 i tested and some things were really bugged out so i couldn't really use that anymore so i have to update that but first of all let's look around a little bit see what we've got over here all right so it seems like we got a nice little ocean kind of bedding or whatever you call that um yeah kind of a bay area is what i want to say <laughs> um and over here is all jungle so that is nice one of my favorite biomes because the colors of the jungle are always so lush which i really like so and because it's a large biome that that means that we are going to have a lot of jungle space around here as well and i think we will be setting up our base over here by the way because of the jungle and i could actually see that cope cobin growing <laughs> right there um but the general idea of this series is kind of the same as it was in the first season we are going to add them to automate as much as possible and create lots of cool stuff in this world oh there's a lava lake over there obviously i hope the fire doesn't spread but i'm getting sidetracked again let's run over there actually and see <laughs> But yeah, the general goal is to automate everything as much as possible in this world. Uh, that is going to be pretty interesting because I like redstone, I like automation. Uh, that's why it's called automation craft. Maybe we can help stop this. Stop burning. Fire ain't cool. Fire and wood don't really go together that well, as demonstrated right here. So uh, yeah, pay attention to fire kids. And I'm getting some lag spikes over here, that's weird. Maybe it's because of the fire loading? I don't really know. Uh, but yeah, I've also gone back to recording in uh, 30 frames per second by the way. Because uh, I noticed that in my recording the final render of um, episode 13 of uh, summit craft i started recording in 60 frames per second because my internet got a nice upgrade 
but that didn't really work out too well sometimes the frames kind of jumped and that is because i'm using a low power hard drive and what that means is it spins at a lower rate than a standard desktop hard drive um, and sometimes it doesn't really uh, it seems like it doesn't really keep up with the recording because of the story creating very large recording files because it uh, just records all the footage without compression and yeah that is pretty heavy for the hard drive and uh, I believe it couldn't really keep up so now in um, before I get a new hard drive upgrade I'm not going to record in 60 frames per second anymore uh, not only because it doesn't look pretty cool if uh, it's kind of skipping on frames but also I don't think that's really beneficial for the hard drive either if it can't keep up with stuff and maybe spinning um, out of bounds I don't know but uh, doesn't seem to be healthy for it either so yeah right now getting a lot of FPS as you can see so that's nice but that's because we just started this new world um, yeah probably when we build a lot of stuff everything will be lagging like crazy when <laughs> we're like uh, hundreds of episodes in hope that will happen <laughs> if I don't uh, screw it up again with um, forgetting to make backups of the world but yeah right now I'm just enjoying the basics of the game again just uh, gathering your standard wood which is always pretty nice just the sound always is a different experience from when you're already high level in the game um, and because of the rambling and running around <laughs> doing some goofy stuff like uh, messing with the lava over there the sun is already uh, nearly at midday actually so we need to start preparing here I'm gonna create that, we gonna get the achievement benchmarking, Oy, I am so pro at this game, look at me. Um, let's plop that down here, create some sticks, doom doom, uh, pickaxe of course, um, and nah, nothing else I believe. Let's just, uh, let's just dig this out, then just make stone tools first because it really doesn't make sense to craft up um, things <laughs> to craft up wooden tools other than a wooden pickaxe you would throw it away immediately so yeah uh, let's just dig down over here and that's also gonna be our first base I think oh nice I found coal that's something which is better than diamonds <laughs> in the early beginnings of a new world but I think I'm gonna start digging over here, get me myself prepped up a little. If I find some nice caves or something, I will get back of to you, of course. And we're also gonna set up our basic uh, starter huts in here, I believe, because that's always easy instead of making a treehouse or something. Treehouse is probably something we will be doing this series because jungle and treehouses, they go together nicely and it will be a different kind of style because normally I usually play underground or in a mountain and tree houses and bridges connecting to to, uh, to every tree I can already envision it in my head and I think that's gonna be looking pretty nice so I'm looking forward to that but that's of course future music because first we need to set all of this up get coal get food actually because I saw some pigs roaming around so I'm going to go over there and slaughter some of those um, and yeah then I will get back to you okay right now I'm in a cave I've been mining a lot uh, I found a really nice cave system over here and I've gathered up a bunch of iron as you can see I'm fully geared up with iron also crafted up a shield and an iron pickaxe now I've unfortunately ran out of all my iron also my coal so i had to make a little bit of charcoal but i'm sure we'll find some more coal down below because when we dig out let's see if it's clear could hear some zombies just now um but uh, i found a really big hole leading down and i saw lava so maybe there are some diamonds over there i really hope so um i couldn't find the place where we last were by the way oops spider 
Yeah, the new combat system is also really challenging again. Also set the difficulty to hard. And yeah, they really do a lot of damage those mobs if you don't time your attacks right. So uh, I really like it so far. Also the dual wielding, I've, before I crafted the shield I've been using the torches in one hand and my pickaxe in the other and that is really something you need to get used to because often I found myself trying to find the torches but they were in my off hand but that's really gonna be a nice thing because uh, when you get used to it it's, it's going to be easier for sure to switch out but now I've run out of coal and can't really find any in the nearby so yeah let's first dig out the iron we can find ah there is some coal down there but we need to find a way to get down there safely also I can spot some redstone already that's nice uh, but I'm gonna try dig down over here check if it's safe and yes nice are there any diamonds to be seen I it would really be nice to have diamonds in the first episode already I think we could make it actually because if I see how large this cave system is it's really huge everything branches off in different directions and all that so yeah really glad I found this one uh, it's another cave system uh, I dug down from another space by the way because uh, the, the place where I was already digging into I needed to get some more wood before it uh, it got dark outside and yeah when I wanted to get back I couldn't find it anymore because of the density of the jungle and it was already getting dark outside so I had to quickly dig into another um, location but this seems to be a nice cave so I'm really glad I found this one um, yeah let's use up all our coal uh, place that there place the building blocks over here if we get mopped or something if we fall into the lava which would be really stupid but let's first grab the redstone because it's automation craft after all and we need to start automating and I hear a zone yurt where are you at? wait 1v1 me <laughs> if I had a bucket full of water right now that would be really nice because uh, oh there is some gold over there I really don't feel safe over here by the way near that lava I don't want to lose all my stuff <laughs> because uh, I don't have a bit yet and yeah that would just suck let's just dig over here and oh yeah there is some water whoa a lot of mobs boom yeah it's difficult to kill with an axe because of the no ah <sighs> just <laughs> Just as I said it, ah, we have to start all over again. <laughs> If you fall into the lava, which would be really stupid, they really do a lot of damage those mobs if you don't time your attacks right, so uh, I really like it so far. You can see I'm fully geared up with iron, also crafted up a shield and an iron pickaxe. Would really be nice to have diamonds in the first episode already. That was just so stupid. Oh man. <sighs> Glad I caught that on camera. And the world isn't loading in, but uh, now it is, so that's cool. <laughs> it's so disappointing when that happens when we're first starting out. So yeah, just lost all my stuff. Um, and yeah, I think we have actually recorded long enough for today. <laughs> this is gonna be the first episode, guys. We really didn't make any progress at all, as you can see. We did make some, but then yeah, everything got lost again. Minecraft 1.9 is definitely a lot harder than it was before <laughs> but that's cool I like a bit of challenge but yeah it was just dumb to not run away from the creeper and I even forgot to block um, so yeah I hope you all enjoyed this episode guys there is many more episodes to come hopefully for this series of automation craft uh, hope we don't get um, computer problems anymore like in the last episode where we lost everything 
um, so yeah I really hope you enjoyed this if you did please make sure to leave a like if you want to see more please subscribe there are also going uh, to be more semi craft episode and also more tutorials and yeah guys I hope to see you all next time take care this was Blackstone bye